And I'm dedicating this message for those that found out that your family member are witches. You just found out that your mother, you found out the man you've been laying with is a witch. So this message is designed to help those that are deceived. So how to win a witch with the word? How to win a witch? Hallelujah with the word. When we look at Acts the eighth chapter, I think sixteen and seventeen. We go Acts the seventeenth chapter, and we go into Galatians the third chapter. That we see that these books are designed to help us to win a witch with the word. You win a witch not by sage. You know what sage is? Sage is when you burn incense and you're trying to go all over the house with incense and, and conjuring up or conjuring up spirits that's in your house. That's the wrong way how to win a, a witch with the word. You got holy water. You say you got from Jerusalem, which is a lie. And you say you anoint this water. Amen. Because the Bible say, he go, when an unclean spirit leaves a man, he go through dry places. Amen. So he go to God water. He go to God witches hate water, but you don't use water on a witch. He go to God. So you so you don't use no sage. You don't use no water. Hey, glory to God. You will use, glory to God, a cross on a witch. Amen. You know, because the Bible said a weapon of warfare, they are not carnal. We don't use carnal mythology or mythic on witches. Amen. And I think I, I think God, my ministry is geared to, to, to try to save a witch with the word. I'm not here. I don't know the Bible says suffer not a witch to live. My job, my job is not to kill the person, but to kill the witches in them, to kill the witchcraft in them. Because the Bible says it's flesh and blood should not inherit the kingdom of God. We're not killing the flesh. Amen. We are killing, hey, glory to God, the spirit within the flesh. So I'm making this video of how to win a witch with the word. My friend, the word is powerful. The word is spirit and they are life. Amen. It's, it's not by power, no by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord. The word of God is spirit. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you listen to this, this message, you don't fight witchcraft with physical method. Amen. You can't beat the no, you can't beat the witch out of your children with a baseball bat. You can't kill the witch with physical. The weapon of warfare, not, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God pulling down of strongholds. So I'm telling you, when we look at Acts, the, Acts the, the, the eighth chapter, when Simon, he was a witch, he bewitched the people of Samaritan, they say he was a great one. He go to either either great one. He go to God, and and the Bible say when you heard the word that was preached by Philip, the Bible say he believed and got baptized, and they sent word, oh glory to God, to to Peter, saying people those in those in Samaria believe the word, and the Bible say glory to God that how he got baptized and he got filled with the Holy Ghost. And he tried to abide the Holy Ghost. And Peter said, you know, God of business, you think that the word of God, uh, the Holy Ghost can be purchased with money. You, hallelujah. Uh, so, so I'm saying this witch got saved because the word. If you live the life, if you preach the word of God, hallelujah, they will resist. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they will be rebuked. Hallelujah. 
but but if you're not living the life hollering around them, they'll think that you just playing church. It's no time to play church with a witch. You gotta be sincere. Hallelujah. You got to be a person that is saved. You gotta be a person that is filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost is our weapon. The Word of God is our weapon. Look how Jesus, hallelujah, used the word on Satan. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm saying this, man. If you keep on, don't battle with the word of God. You live the life around them. And they will, and they will glory to God, be convicted. Hallelujah. Same way as this woman in Acts the 17 chapter. She was following Paul. Hallelujah. And she was crying out loud. This is a servant of the of the, the servant of God. And Paul turn around and this was a spirit of divination how she was making gain for her masters and the bible say when paul grieved his spirit he turned around and rebuked the spirit of divination hallelujah glory to god hallelujah 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 and the bible say immediately the spirit of divination left the young girl, oh, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God. Are you listening? I'm talking about how to win, hallelujah, the witch with the word. I'm talking about, hey, glory to God, the word of God. He said, send forth my word and heal them. Hallelujah, glory to God. The word of God is power. It is might, hallelujah. It's, it's Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection and the life. So back to back to how Jesus, Jesus used the word on the devil. You ought to use the word on the witch and use the word in, in good content. Amen. Because, listen, if you are afraid of the witch, amen, that's why the witch is, is, is defeating you because you're afraid. Don't, the Bible say God has not given a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. And of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Yea, thou walk through the valley of the shadow of the. It's just a shadow. The witch is just a shadow. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 You need the word. Amen. You don't need no sage. You don't need no water. You don't need no incense. You don't need no candle. Oh, glory to God. You need the word of God. Amen. You don't need to go to no people and tell them. You got the Bible. Open the word of God. Open Acts, the, the, the eighth chapter. Open, hallelujah, Acts, the seventh chapter. And the next one, hallelujah, is Galatian. Galatian, the Galatian church was being bewitched. And they were being bewitched because they started out with the, with the, the spirit but a flesh crept in. What you saying, preacher? I'm saying that any time you started with the, with the Spirit of God, hey, glory to God, and the flesh creeps in, you drifted, you drifting, you drifting away. You have been bewitched. Because Paul said, who have bewitched you? That you should not obey the truth. That's what Jesus Christ told the Jews. If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Remember, witchcraft is rebellion. Amen. It is rebellion. It's going against the truth. It's going against what God say. So Paul say, who have been with you that you should not obey the truth. So anytime people are against the truth, they're going back to the flesh, somebody has bewitched them. So you got to find out, identify who bewitched, who have duped you, who have, who have bamboozed you of you not obeying the truth. So how to win a witch with the word? Hallelujah, you got to walk the walk and talk the talk. You'll be an example him, of the word of God. That's how you're going to win this witch. You can't go clubbing with this witch. You can't go smoking with this witch. 
You can't go sexing with a witch. 